Hello everyone and welcome welcome to another historic video. So today we're going to be checking out another Niv-Mizzet deck, but in my last video, one of my viewers commented that, hey, maybe you should try adding Fragment Reality with Leyline Binding to get Niv-Mizzet out. And what a great idea that was. That's what we're going to be checking out today. We're going to be making the Niv-Mizzet deck into a more of a combo deck. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at the deck to see how the deck has changed. So this is Niv-Reality combo deck. Not much of a combo since, you know, when you use the word combo, the decks like to just win on the spot, but the combo is purely for additional value. If you can get the Niv-Mizzet Reborn out as early as turn three, which is technically the earliest you could bring out, because if you have the Triumph on turn one and then another Triumph on turn two, then you can Leyline Binding a creature and then Fragment Reality the following turn. And this is all possible because Leyline Binding gets cost reduction for the land types you play. And since we are a niv Mizzet deck, we have all five colors. And what Fragment Reality does is that you can exile a non-token artifact creature or an enchantment. And its controller puts a random creature card with lesser mana value from their library onto the battlefield tapped. So in our case, Leyline Binding is a six mana cost. Even with the cost reduction, it is inherently a six mana cost. So if you fragment reality, the Leyline Binding, the only creature in the deck happens to be Niv-Mizzet Reborn, which is a five mana card, which you can summon onto the battlefield tapped at the end of your opponent's turn. So that is really powerful because that actually gets rid of niv Mizzet's one downside is if you do play niv Mizzet, you just draw way too many cards, then you have to discard some cards after you draw a bunch of cards with it. But because you can fragment reality the Leyline Binding into getting the niv Mizzet Reborn down on the opponent's turn, you actually don't have to discard anything if you get way too many cards in your hand. So that's another upside, but there is a cost to playing the fragment reality in the deck. Originally, the deck had a Kabu, which is a fantastic creature, by the way. And we also had a Scarab God as well, which is also a great mid-range card. So we had to get rid of that because Fragment Reality cascades into a random card that has lower mana value than the Leyline Binding. So if we were to play Kabu and Scarab God, they could get hit instead of niv -Mizzet. And because we also got rid of Kavu, which also filtered our deck, since we originally played 28 lands, you get flooded, Kavu attacks every single turn, and you discard land every single turn to go through your deck that way. So we don't have that option anymore. So I just went down on two more lands in the deck. So we we're playing 26 lands instead of 28 lands. And since we're not going to be playing any creatures, I also added in two different planeswalkers to the deck, which are Tasha, Unholy Archmage, which can let you grab a creature that opponent has in their graveyard. Since we're going to be playing a lot of removal spells, you can expect some creatures going to the graveyard. So you can minus two for a creature to put some aggression down. So it's an excellent four mana planeswalker that can create some pressure on the board using your opponent's creatures and being able to stop opponent's aggression through plus oneing. Normally you would like to play Wandering Emperor, but Wandering Emperor is a dual color card. So we can't play it in this deck because niv Mizzet can't actually grab it. And the other Planeswalker that we're playing is Ming Sen Bu, which is a five on a card that creates a hamster. And through plus one you can put three counters on the Boo itself, and then you can attack for four damage. This is really nice because, again, we do need some creatures to put on pressure since we are a mid-range deck. And the fact that this is a Planeswalker and not a creature, it's perfect for the deck. And at the same time, the minus on this card is actually very, very good. Because the turn this comes down, you can plus on the Boo and attack to put on some pressure. And then if you run out of hand, you can minus to sacrifice the Boo and draw a bunch of cards to refill your hand. And if you haven't played with this card before or haven't seen this in action, just trust me on this. This card is very, very powerful. Not too many people have caught on to it just because this is an alchemy card. And aside from that, the sideboard, all I changed was I cut a copy of Shatterstorm. I added two copies of Prismari Command just because it's a dual color card. And I also added another copy of Teferi instead of Yasharn because we can't play a creature card in the sideboard just because we're trying to combo off with Fragment Reality. And that's it. If you want some more insight on the sideboard, you can check out my last video on the sideboard. I explained a fair bit there. But anyways, we're going to be jumping into best of three ranked historic to show you guys how the deck plays and if you guys like the video so far leave a like comment below subscribe and let's hop on over
Okay, I can't cast anything in my hand. We mulligan. Oh my god, we got the combo. Oh no. We don't have white source. I mean... Hopefully we draw white source. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Uh, Leyline Binding. Or Fragment Reality? So it didn't matter in the end. Okay. We might have a chance if we draw white land. Please? White land, white land. What are they playing? Mono black Karn? No. Please. God, I should have kept this land so I could cycle. I guess Clothus help me win. <laughs> Wait, is there any lands? Oh man. If we can somehow discard land. No, this only gives. This only gives red and green. Oh god. This is how we're gonna lose. Classic five color deck. Classic. <coughs> um. I guess you can take Deathman Clarion. And that. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna hold on to this in case they have another Undercity Plunder. Deck, please. You can't do this to me. What? Am I playing against a draft deck? We're gonna lose against a draft deck! Please! Not like this. Not like this. We're gonna lose to a draft deck. Oh no, my combo's gone. My combo's gone. Does this do anything? No, it's just flying death touch. It's a 4 mana 3 2 flyer. It's just a 4 mana 3 2 flyer. Okay, there's still hope. My cloth is. might be able to deal 20 damage. We still can't cast Nymph Visit. I'm tilting! Not like this. Uh oh, it's a- it's a 4-3 flyer now. Oh my god, it's a white source. I'll take it. Even though this is a taplin, I'll I'll take it.
please. Yep, that's why I kept the land. But at this point, you know what? I don't need it. I don't need it. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature of cards in the graveyard. I see what's going on. Okay, two cards, not bad. Could be could be worse. I'm not going to play around another Undercity Plunder. <laughs> this card just won me the game. I just played Clothus and said go next. Target opponent puts a creature card of their choice from their graveyard onto the battlefield. Should I attack? Should I block? Probably not, right? Because I just win if I swing with them visit. Okay. Hero's Downfall. Okay. Put any number of target creature cars. Whenever a creature you control with death touch attacks, each opponent loses one life. Oh wow. Um, kill that. Six, seven, stealing seven damage. Guess we'll cycle this and pass. When it enters the battlefield, each player discards a non-land card. Whenever a player discards a card during your turn, they choose an another player. Okay. 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 Might actually have to be Tasha here. Hmm. Actually, does it? Opponent attacks me for 6 damage, I go up to 8, and I Tasha plus. Take 6 damage. Okay, this is a pretty annoying game. Considering, I mean... I'm actually gonna lose to this deck. Oh god. I actually misplayed. I should have uh, cycled this to see if I can get a spell. I'm actually gonna lose to this. Yep, looks like I lost actually. We need a board wipe. That's what we need. Bye. 
binding. Could be relevant. Okay, let's plus. Okay, Leyline Binding was clutch. Uh, wow, they have another hero's downfall. That's incredibly unfortunate. That's all. Yeah, I think we're dead. I think we're dead. Oh my god! Actually, gonna lose to this. Oh, there's a hope. White, black. <laughs> why is it, why is this game so close? Why is this game so close? I don't know. Minx and Boo. Does that do anything? So I take 3 damage here. No, I, I need something better. I think I'm gonna kill this. You're kidding me. We actually lost to this pile. Uh, let's not lose to this pile again. That would be embarrassing. How many white sources do we play? Like, what is going on? How do we not have enough lands to cast a white card? Okay, let's let's forget about that game. That that game was cursed. That game was just cursed. Uh, we don't need farewell. Maybe go down on Fragment Reality, because uh, they're really discard heavy. Okay, also, let me see. 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm pretty sure white is our a dominant color in this bag. Alright. Um, No blacks. No blacks. We can only cast one card. No red. Oh, we do we do have red. Um I think we just bottom this. This is not an ideal hand either. Or it could be. If we can get another basic land type. Can I get... Okay, that's good. Okay, we just need lands. We just need lands. Land. Land. Boom. And then we'll do a uh, ley line into fragment reality. 
Okay, here we go. This is what we were waiting for. I'll take two. Do we want to take two? Because they got Sheldred? Okay, this is what- I think this is what I'll do. I'll take this, and I'll just Fragment Reality to save myself 2 damage. We'll do Deafening and Vanishing Burst. That was kind of a mediocre one. And then we'll do a Vanishing Verse, right? Yeah, that wasn't really ideal. Man, this niv mizzet is just not hitting. The first niv mizzet only gave us two cars. Div this niv mizzet only gave us two cars. What is up with this niv mizzet? It is just not giving. The deck has... I kid you not, we do have a lot of cars here. That are multicolored. Do we only have one red source so far? That is a blasphemy. What does it say? When it enters the battlefield, exile, you may look at the... So even even if it this dies, they can still cast that card, right? I'm going to play the Clothus here because if I can do double lightning helix next turn, we win the game. Okay, I guess uh, Lightning Helix gone. They have to get rid of the r Lightning Helix here. But... Uh, opponent? I mean, unless they have another one. Uh, opponent is dead. Distance, Even if this becomes a 5 mana, they're dead, right? Boop. Boop. Okay. Okay, we, we just go. I do think the Kavu version is a lot better. I do. <laughs> this is kind of a meme, right? This is kind of a meme. Uh, one mana Leyline Binding? Og? Also, we're playing 26 lands. There's a really good chance we'll keep drawing lands. Very, very good chance. Am 
My hand is kind of stacked, honestly. I, I I believe you take Leyline Binding, right? Because Leyline Binding is a one mana card right now. There you go. Okay. Deck? I need you to work with me. I need you to give me a land. We're playing 26 lands. There's... Okay. Expressive iteration? You're kidding me. This can't happen. <laughs> I'm... Every time I play Nib Mizzet, I feel like I'm just cursed. <laughs> I mean, I'm undoubtedly playing a 26 land. Um, as you can see, we have 50% chance of drawing lands there, and we missed top four cars weren't lands. And then we also drew two more cars, so that was actually six cars that weren't lands. I, I don't know what to say. This is this is a seventh card that wasn't a land. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? I'm gonna put a stop here. So before I draw, I leyline binding. Oh, thank God. Thought Erasure. Yes, please. Le yes, get just just give me give me more lands, please. Um, I'm actually willing to take 5 here. Because I don't want them to actually play a creature. So this is a perfect time for Minx and Boo. Attack. Okay, so now we're looking for Div Mizzet. We're also looking for Fragment Reality. What in the world is this? New card? Okay, this is wild. There you go, and just like that. The thing is, because we have three copies of Fragment Reality, four copies of Niv Mizzet, we have seven cars that can be basically Niv Mizzet. So we had a pretty good chance there in drawing Niv Mizzet. Looks like they have some sort of removal spell. I don't see them removing Leyline Binding. Black color can't remove enchantments. Excellent. Okay, so this game was almost cursed. <laughs> We actually almost lost their draft deck. <laughs> I mean, it's okay because I, I would have had to discard a lot of cars. But... Man. Hmm. 
Hmm, this isn't actually ideal though. We only have one more Planeswalker and we only have two more Nib Mizzet. Um, we don't play any creatures other than that. So we gotta be very, very careful. Somehow opponents at 18. We do actually have a Clothus. Only two, um, one more Lightning Helix in the deck. Okay, Tasha has a good card. This is why we play Tasha. Since we don't have Kavu anymore, this is a, another way of like getting creatures on the board. And then the fact that this is not a creature means that if you Fragment Reality Leyline Binding without having to worry about hitting Kavu. Let's get rid of that. Give it your best shot, adventurers. Okay, we got we assembled the wind con clothis. Blunder. The thing about this card, the Undercity Plunder, is too strong. And what I mean by that is because our deck is better than theirs, the card quality, I don't want them to get any cards. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. Uh, oh, we got the combo. Do we have it? Land? Oh, we can't do it. We can't we can't turn 3 Nif miss it, but Hmm. I think we still keep this hand. It's still a good hand, nonetheless. Hmm. I'm gonna steam vent. That's really unfortunate. Chalice? Sure. What kind of deck plays Chalice main deck though? So I actually need to get rid of that Chalice. Believe it or not.
So we'll binding the chalice. Unfortunately, I don't know why they put it at one. And then we'll express obliteration for another binding, I guess. And then at the end of their turn, we'll nib miss it. That way we don't have, even if we get a bunch of cars, we don't have to discard. Which is nice. Perfect. And then... What could this be? I want to kind of get rid of their black market. So let's uh let's try to do uh if I if I play expressive version I have to discard, which I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna get rid of the black market and pass. I believe opponent is playing angel like some sort of angel deck, right? With black market. Go blank. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, opponent showed me that they play go blank for some reason. Um. Aside from that, I have no freaking idea what they're playing. I have no idea. I'm gonna play a copy of Teferi. For like token bouncing. What about Prismari Command? Prismari Command. I'll play a copy just because I have no idea what they're playing. But then the problem is like, what do you take out? I can't take out Deafening Clarion or Supreme Verdict quite just yet because like, I'll maybe take out one copy of Deafening Clarion. I'll take two out. Because if this is an Angel deck, Deafening Clarion doesn't hit anyways. So I'll just run with this for now. Maybe Farewell actually, because they have enchantments and artifacts. And then I'll go down on Fragment Reality just because we've already done the combo. They might have a, uh, they might have some discard spells, right? Sure. Containment Priest. <laughs> Sure, I mean... Why... Why did they just play it... On their turn? Okay, so they brought another black market. Um... I'll kill it. So I'm gonna play the Tasha next. She altered. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'll I'll play the Shaldred. Let them overextend for a turn. Let them overextend for a turn and then I'll Supreme Verdict. 
Let me see. White, white, blue. What? Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, if it was cast, exile it. Then return all other permanent cards exiled with... Wait, what? Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, if it wasn't cast, exile it. Keep your I guess I'll just farewell next turn. That's fine with me, I guess. So that's the combo they're trying to do. Oh, that's good. That's good. Sure. Let me just double check. I do have Black Source. Farewell. Exile. Creature enchantments. Do I care about the graveyard? Probably. Another Shieldred. It is, it's... The damage is adding up though, so we gotta be careful. Um, hold up. Can I play the Thought Rager this turn? I cannot. It's a Doom for Toltec? That's so weird. Right, that's so weird. Hmm. Should I just Supreme Verdict this? Whatever. Okay, so if... Okay, so Doom Foretold is gone. I'm just gonna play this out. That's their third Shieldred. Calm down. I do want to keep the Shieldred in case I get another Tasha. Mm. I am very curious what they could have in their hand, but I'm just gonna play this out. This is what I wanted, Vanishing Verse. Can I play both? Yes, I can, I believe. White and black? White and black, okay. Farewell? Um... You can have a farewell, I guess. Yeah, you can have a farewell. There you go. And I'll, uh, Ming Sen Boo and attack you for four. Oh, I can even play Tasha here. Beware. I know some sickening match. 
Jake. Ming Sen Bu is sick. Especially in this deck. Okay, that's annoying. Let me see. 7, 10, 13, 15. Right? Man, this deck is fun. This deck is fun. 